Welcome back to our channel. In this short video, we are going to talk about the different types of forceps. We are going to help you differentiate between the maxillary and mandibular forceps and identify the left and the right forceps. So let's get started. We know that there are maxillary and mandibular forceps. First, we are going to discuss about maxillary forceps. Maxillary anterior forceps that is forceps used for the extraction of central incisors, lateral incisors and canine. The forcep is straight, there is no angulation and it's a universal forcep. Maxillary premolar forceps, a universal forcep that is different from anterior forceps by its curvature. Molar forceps. They are paired forceps, that is there is a right and left. Now how do you understand? You have to hold it in palm up position and the triangular portion will go into the buccal part into the furcation and this plain part or the circular portion will go into the palatal part. Since the molars are, maxillary molars are multi-rooted, the buccal portion has a furcation. This is the third molar forceps. Look at the angulation. This peculiar angulation will help in proper grasp of the third molars, maxillary third molars. This one is a cow horn. The name comes from the shape. The single beak portion will go into the furcation buccal area and the double beaks or the bifid will go into the palate portion. This is the root forceps or the bayonet. Look at the angulation. The narrow beaks and the angulation helps in extraction of roots. Coming to mandibular forceps, mandibular anterior forceps. The beak is closed and there is a 90 degree angulation. Mandibular premolar forceps, very similar to anterior forceps but there is a small space between the beak. That's how you understand. Mandibular molar forceps. It's a universal forceps. There is no right or left. And the tooth on the beaks will help in the proper grasp of the furcation of mandibular molars. This is used for mandibular third molars. The angulation will help in proper grasp of the third molars. And this is the lower cow horn. This will help when the crown structure is lost but the furcation is intact. So that's it guys. If you found our video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. And also tap on the bell icon so that you don't miss any new videos. Thank you.